To write the name for PbCl2, first we need to recognize we have a metal and then a nonmetal. So a metal and a nonmetal, that's going to be an ionic compound. Specifically, Pb, which is lead, that's a transition metal. So we need to take that into account as well when we write the name for PbCl2. So we have this ionic compound with a transition metal. We'll use these rules to write the name. First, we write the name for the metal. That's lead. Next, we write the name for the nonmetal. That's chlorine, lowercase c. And then we change the INE. We replace that with IDE. So at this point, we have lead chloride. But remember, we said lead is a transition metal. So because it's a transition metal, we don't know the charge. We have to look at what it's bonded to. Chlorine always has a 1 minus ionic charge, and we have two of them. So 2 times 1 minus, that's 2 minus. Lead has to be 2 plus for all these charges to add up to 0, give us a net charge of 0. So because we have this 2 plus on the PB, we write a Roman numeral 2 between the lead and the chloride, and the name for PBCl2 is lead 2 chloride. Sometimes you'll also see this named as lead dichloride. But here we have our lead 2 chloride with a 2. That shows us the charge on the lead. If we were given the name here to write the formula, we'd know the lead was 2 plus because of the Roman numeral, and we'd know we need these two 1 minus chloride ions to balance that charge. This is Dr. B with the name for PBCl2, lead 2 chloride, sometimes called lead dichloride. Thanks for watching.